I have already powdered my two pounds of Velveeta and it went into two one pint jars um, once it's been powdered. I have already my ground beef that I did in another video sitting in storage, so I pulled that out. And I've got my two um, cans of Rotel in here. So the great thing is if you don't have Rotel in your pantry, if you have some tomatoes and peppers and onions and things, you can make your own Rotel. It doesn't have to be Rotel. I've gone ahead and added one pint and I checked it. It is two cups of cheddar cheese powder in my bowl. And I think I'm going to add a half cup of my freeze dried hamburger and a half cup of my Rotel. And then I'm getting into my Rotel here. And I'm actually, that's super fluffy. I'm gonna do two fluffy half cup-ish worth of Rotel. I have decided to start with one cup of boiling water in my two cup measuring cup here. So I'm going to add my one cup of water and then I'm going to take a spatula and just really get this stirred up. I can always add more water. It's hard to remove it if you get too much to begin with. So I'm starting a little conservatively. This smells like it's fresh queso. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's, this is gonna be a little thick yet, but I'm still gonna let that all stir in. It's not that nice runny queso that I had going in, into the freeze dryer tray. So I'm gonna add another half cup of boiling water. So we're at one and a half cups of boiling water when I add this. I would say that is awfully close to being perfect. Still a little lumpy, so I'm gonna keep letting this stir a little bit. But there you would have instant. You could take this even over to your friends' houses and add the hot water and wow them. But you can have queso ready that fast without having to let it sit in your crock pot for hours to get here. So this could definitely be a win. I'm gonna let this sit for, mm, I'm gonna cover it so it holds the heat. And I'm gonna let it sit for like five minutes to maybe help some of those lumps go ahead and fall out of this as it rehydrates a little more. So we'll check back in five minutes and see what this looks like. Well, we let the batch of making it from our pantry queso sit here and rehydrate. I did make queso and freeze dry it whole, you know, already made. This is, as an empty nester, I'm learning I don't need to cook as much food as I normally am. Maybe you don't need the whole batch of queso. You just want some with a movie or a football game you're watching. I put this um, one batch across two medium trays and with the 40 portion dividers in there. So I'm going to add eight, I'm gonna put 10 squares, so a quarter of a tray. In my bowl, and I've already got boiling water sitting here, I'm going to add a half cup of boiling water to this to begin with and start getting this rehydrated. I just poured on that half cup of boiling water and already, my squares are becoming pliable. I can push my spatula through them. This isn't quite as instantaneous as the powdered individual ingredients, but it is definitely coming back to life. I do think this is something you're gonna to need to cover and let sit before you can really get it stirred together. So I'm gonna get this covered and we'll let this sit also. This has been sitting about two minutes Still a little lumpy, but the consistency is about perfect as far as how thick it is. So I'm trying to decide if it needs like a quarter cup more water to finish rehydrating to get rid of those lumps, or if I'm better off just eating it a little bit lumpy. So we're gonna let this sit a little bit longer and see if we can't get the rest of those lumps to fall out. The 
pre-made and freeze-dried has been sitting here about two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to get this stirred together. And I think my half cup of water was too much. This is super duper runny. So I'm gonna add two more squares to this. So 12 squares with half a cup of water is where we would be. So we're gonna let that sit again for a little bit. Checking, checking back on this one. And I would say it's not as lumpy as it was. It's definitely probably edible at this point. I'll check it here in a second. I could try adding another quarter cup of water, but I want to be careful not to get this too runny. So let's see if those lumps are affecting its edibility or not. If it needs, if it has hard chunks or if they're soft and just in there, it makes a huge difference. I'm gonna test this out on one of my favorite hint o' lime chips here. I get these at Walmart. They're fabulous. Love these. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Yeah, that's perfect. Tastes like I just made it. I'm not noticing any lumps as I eat that. We're good. So one and three quarter cups water to two cups of cheddar cheese powder a half cup of your hamburger and a cup-ish of your um, rotel or your tomatoes, onions, peppers. You can always add more of the rotel and stuff if you want more flavor in there. This is a win. This is easy. I just uncovered this. The two squares that I added late are having a little harder time because this isn't quite as warm. I'm getting rehydrated and there's definitely some chunks in here like this just isn't as easy to rehydrate as when everything is powdered this is going to take more time doesn't mean it's not doable or worthwhile just currently we are not there yet because this bowl is microwave safe i'm even going to throw this in the microwave for 30 seconds to help keep this hot so I microwaved this and I've let it sit like another two minutes after coming out of the microwave. Ah, this is coming. This is coming. It still has some bigger chunks in it. But we are definitely getting closer. Absolutely getting closer to the correct consistency here. So 12 squares to our half cup of water is what I think was actually needed to have this be a nice thicker consistency so it's not soup. And since this still has some chunks and it's a little thinner than I'd like and it's still really hot, we're gonna let this sit for like two more minutes and see what it gets us. This has been sitting another two minutes So, just feeling some chunks with the fork here that just don't feel quite hydrated. I'm liking the consistency here. I think this is just going to take more time, having everything already kind of pre-cooked together and then freeze-dried versus starting with individual ingredients. It smells about the same. Well, let's give it a taste test and see what I think. If I definitely still have some stuff that needs hydrated, meaning I needed more water, let's find out. So I have another chip. We're testing this one. I think it either needs more water or more time to sit here. However, surprisingly, nothing feels hard as I'm eating it. This might be done.
I think it is done. So a little more patience required here on the pre-made queso, freeze dried into squares. The powdered from your pantry, all freeze dried ingredients works also. So queso is a double thumbs up. We can make it work either way. This is a win for everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on Adventures in Freeze Drying. Both of these recipes, both ways to make and rehydrate, will be in freezedryingcookbook.com next week. And we'll see you next time.